women of GPATS are extremely impressive women. They sit and they learn for two years in order to gain the knowledge to then go out and help the Jewish community. How many opportunities do women get to learn all day, halacha and gemara? I feel so lucky that I could be part of such a program. GPATS is the only institution in North America that allows women to learn Torah at such a high level. I was so grateful to have the opportunity to come to GPATS to really develop my skills and get the confidence that I needed in order to start teaching. Our students are the Talmud teachers and Bible teachers in schools across North America. Our students are those that study for the Yoetzet program. Our students serve as educators in synagogues, on university campuses, and serve as chaplains in hospitals. And our students are playing roles as doctors in medicine, in business, as lawyers, but they do so through the prism of the Torah values. I really believe that it's important to study the Jewish perspective before entering law school and learning about the American legal system. We're motivated by the desire to learn Torah. I love it. I love the challenge and I just want more. One of the defining characteristics of the modern Orthodox community is the value and importance that we place on the spiritual, religious, and intellectual worlds of the women within our community. In my opinion, GPATS is at the forefront of these efforts and these endeavors. In December of 1977, Rabbi Soloveitchik gave one of the most important lectures of the 20th century to the women at Stern College on Talmud. And I think that GPATS represents the continuation of the vision that Rabbi Soloveitchik started with Stern College for Women. It is a program that is renowned for preparing women for communal roles and hashkafically appropriate models. We're trying to not just create women scholars, but women leaders, women role models, women that will really affect the greater world. We live in an incredible era in Jewish history when more people than ever before, men and women, have greater access to Talmud Torah at the highest levels. In the morning, we learn Gemara, and you're analyzing the text, going over it, asking questions, trying to figure out insights. Uh, and subsequent to that, we come together as part of Shir uh, to think collectively and to analyze together uh, the material that they spend studying during morning Seder. In the afternoons, we have Halacha, which is also divided into Seder and into Shir, gaining our own skills and then also using the faculty to help us improve our skills and make sure we're going in the right direction. Students also have the option of taking Azraeli classes, which is YU's graduate program for Jewish education and administration, and also Revel, which is a master's in either Tanakh or Jewish history, supplementing a lot of the different pieces of knowledge in other areas of Torah with the learning that you're doing in the evenings at these other graduate programs. We have an incredible faculty who are so talented, so sweet, such good people. We are blessed in GPADS to have the cream of the crop available to us. One of my goals in teaching halacha is for the students who come out of GPADS to have an appreciation of the sophistication and the depth of learning that's really necessary in order to understand the halacha as we know it and the halacha as we practice it. We have internships where women go all over to synagogues, to schools, in order to use those skills in whatever career path they're going to take. This year, I'm a community intern at Lincoln Square on the Upper West Side. I work at Ramaz Upper School. My GPAT's internship in Chicago was wonderful. I've really enjoyed giving shiurim to the community and really being a part of their Shabbat experience. Well, a year ago, uh, we hired Zisi Turner, who is a student at GPATS. The community really enjoyed having um, a woman uh, be able to give Divrei Torah on a, on a recurring basis, uh, which, was, uh, which was really great. One of the most beautiful things about GPATS is that we're located right in the center of Stern College in their Beit Midrash. When I entered Stern and go in and out of the Beit Midrash and see girls who were a few years older than me sitting and dedicating years to developing their learning skills, um, that was something that, that always drew me in. We want students from Stern College to come over and ask questions to the GPAD students, be a resource for them. That's part of the reason why we're sitting there. There's no better place for there to be a program like GPATS than Yeshiva University that's able to bring the resources of a first-class Yeshiva and a first-class Tier 1 research university together to empower these women. Our mission at Yeshiva University is to empower each of our students to develop their unique talents 
in service to God. More and more women have expressed interest in joining GPATS, and we look forward to growing this extraordinary program and extending its influence throughout our community. It's not just about the two years of sitting and learning, but it's also about what are you gonna do with that learning? The values that we are putting inside of our students is to take this beautiful Torah that they've learned and share it with the world. I have learned to speak eloquently about things that I am passionate about. I've learned how to be a role model for the Jewish community, and I'm excited to take what I've learned at GPATS and be able to use it in the wider world.